What's up everyone? It has been uh, over a month now since I've updated anyone on the film. Unless I touch base with you guys, I was preparing for a long sales and press tour that unfortunately went up in smoke. So um, it was just a series of unfortunate events that, um, yeah, they just, they made the trip impossible. So about 1500 miles in, had to turn around and come back to Maryland. And I've really been just figuring things out, figuring out what the next step was, because the goal with this was to get face to face with a lot of people, show them the trailer, and then also refine everything on, on the trip, like on stops. And just uh, really, I ended up having to just come back here. But the flip side to that is removing the sales and press obligations, I was able to really focus hard on making all the bonus features for the film much better, much more refined. And um, now where we're at is is really uh, great. It's, it's many hours of bonus features. I haven't totaled it up exactly, but there's lots of extended interviews. And uh, now... Uh, the DVDs are officially in the mail. It has been such a long process. I really did not think... I, I kind of had it in my head that as soon as I was done editing the film, boom, it's on DVDs and it's shipping. I thought the work was really done there. It wasn't. Uh, actually, creating a DVD is a little bit of a nightmare uh, because you don't do it very often. Software is actually really complicated, so I went to, I tried to outsource it. And unfortunately, I was just getting jerked around by the people who do it for less because the people who do it, you know, uh, all the time, they charge basically just more than I could afford. Um, so definitely it's been a, a learning curve getting the DVDs uh, produced, but they are in the mail. And when I say they're in the mail, um, the equipment required to make them myself is in the mail. Um, it should be here at the end of next week, but basically I'm printing all the DVDs myself and I'll be packaging them myself. I ordered up cases, ordered up blank discs that I print on the, the top of them and, uh, a lot of covers that were already then have mass produced. Um, but everything looks really good. So I'm, I'm very uh, pleased with the overall outcome and uh, I, I'm just really pleased that they're finally gonna go out. So for all of you who've been waiting a long time, thank you. Thank you for your patience. I know this has been long, but ultimately the final result I think is much better than I originally anticipated. Um, so aside from the DVD being done, I have re-edited the, uh, well, I, I shouldn't say re-edited. I, I cut together a totally new trailer. And the original trailer was made before I'd even written any of the narration or anything. I really didn't quite know the direction the film was going to take or the format that it would uh, take. Um, so this trailer is very much focused on the audience that has no previous exposure to suspension whatsoever, because ultimately this is a film for them. Um, I, I realize most of the people probably watching this video are already familiar with suspension because you pre-ordered the film, but, um, really the, the audience that is difficult to win over are the people who have no exposure to this because the knee jerk reaction is there's something wrong with these people who do this. And it's a little bit of a struggle to explain to people that what we're doing actually has a rational basis, even if it looks totally irrational. So this trailer, I, I really tried to make sure that it hit all of the points that um, film festivals are looking for because I, I, I do feel that film festivals are the way that I will get this to the masses. It just has to be accepted, which is why if you have pre-ordered this film, even if it was just uh, like a streaming and you, you've already seen it, contact me 
if you don't have the access code to watch it on Vimeo, I, I, I will get you another one or I will get you that. The film has been drastically uh, edited. There's been like a million tiny edits, uh, including I actually hired an audio engineer. I realized some of the interviews, the audio was just borderline unacceptable. Um, it's not anymore. There were parts to the, tr uh, to the film that the audio was so bad. I had to consider removing it from the film. And now that same audio clip that I considered removing from the film is now played in the trailer. So that's how much work I had done by a PhD audio engineer. So this was, uh, really, really Amazing. Amazing that I was able to get this much more production value out of uh, the film because I was really done. I was exhausted. I couldn't work on this anymore. But honestly, the response whenever I uh, launched the did the, the, the soft release for the backers and, and pre-orders, the re reaction was so amazingly positive that I couldn't stop there. Like I, I knew at that point I had something special and I needed to make it as clean and refined as possible so that it doesn't get ignored. Uh, because there are people in this who their stories are amazing and they should be told. Um, especially Fakir. Uh, Fakir Mustafar is no longer with us. And he r really, the interview I did with him was the very first interview I did at all for the film. And that shaped the direction of the film, for sure. And I didn't want to disgrace his legacy. So being able to uh, update this. Also the music. Uh, I, I spent an, a lot of money on uh, music and sound design. I did basically all of it myself, but I still had to purchase licenses for uh, all of the songs that were used in the film. They it had to be paid for. I, I just didn't have that money before as much as I wanted to have a really nice soundtrack. So now the soundtrack is good uh, and it really fits with the film and it adds a lot to the film. So if you saw it before, even if you thought it was good then, Please watch it again. It's really, really like, um, like incomparable to, to, to where it was at before. The other thing that I'm asking is um, please leave a review. If you want to support this film, leave a review on the Vimeo page after you watch the film. Watch it again. Leave a review. Share it on Facebook. Everything you can. It is huge for me. And if you do leave a review on, on the film and uh, message me afterward and I will give you another access code for the film and you can send it to whoever you think might enjoy it and they can see it for free. And then if they leave a review, same thing goes. I will give another copy. I'm much, much more concerned with this film getting out there than I am you know, making money off of another view. Whenever film festivals look over my application, they look at Vimeo because Vimeo is where they want the film uploaded to so that they can get it from there to actually screen it. If there's no reviews, it's not necessarily bad. Some people have never <clears throat> shown it, but if I have 100 really wonderful reviews, that's going to go a long way towards proving that there is an audience for this film. So if you would like these words to get out there to everyone, please, please, you, you would be helping me so much and uh, I would be very grateful. And I, I promise you're not wasting your time watching it again. It is much, much, much better. Uh, so much has been refined. There were so many little errors in the film that I didn't see before. Also, the other thing that's great is uh, there's captions. There are certain parts that it's difficult to hear what they're saying just because, you know, this is a documentary. You don't have a, you don't have a microphone everywhere at all times. So you, you definitely have to uh, improvise and do what you can in post-production. Um, so anyway, the film is on its way to being translated into a bunch of different languages and all those languages will be up on, uh, the Vimeo page soon. And you can access all this stuff from the website, the people who suspend.com. There's a link right there that has the updated trailer and you can go straight to it. Email me, uh, the people who suspend at gmail.com 
and I will get you your access code. If, if, if you've lost it, even if you just did a rental and, and that rental is expired, no problem. Send me a message. I'll give you another uh, uh, code so that you can view it again. And then um, please, that review is unbelievably uh, important toward, for, for getting this out to the world. So thank you all so much for your patience. If you did buy the film, please make sure that you replied to the email that uh, confirms your shipping address. I have to have confirmation before I ship it. Some of you paid for the film like five years ago. I can't. Some people have changed their names since then. People have gotten married. Uh, <laughs> I know it's been a while and I don't want these uh, DVDs to just end up in, in, you know, getting returned or something like that. I definitely want everyone to, uh, you know, be able to hear all the extra stuff. And I'm, uploading these bonus features uh to the uh vimeo page as well so you can actually see all those bonus features there as well um so uh if, if you want access to the film immediately like online you don't have to purchase it on vimeo if you want a dvd get the dvd and then i will uh personally send you an access code so you have access to it online immediately you won't have to wait for the dvd to come in the mail and that way you can uh leave that review that i keep bringing up very very helpful please your help is very much appreciated anyway the uh the trailer uh is going live please share it as much as you can let everyone know the people who suspend is going to a film festival near you with your help Thank you guys for believing in me through all this time. I know uh, some of you may have lost faith. I can't blame you for that. But for those of you who stuck with me through all of it, thank you. You're the reason why this was possible. Thank you. <laughs>